Hello everyone, today I am going to talk about water jug problem. So the problem is that you are given two jugs, one with a capacity of 4 gallon and another one with a 3 gallon. A pump is provided to you which has unlimited water. You can use that pump to fill the jug and the ground on which you, uh, water may be poured from the jug. None of the jugs has any measurement marking on it. The problem is you have to fill exactly 2 gallons of water in the 4 gallon jug. So let's see how we solve this problem. So first let us define the state space of this problem. Now what is exactly state space? Now state space is representation of all states that contains all necessary information about the states. Suppose there is a problem, there is a man who wants to visit two cities named A and B and then reach his final destination that is his home which is his goal state. So he will start from his initial position then he has two options either he goes to city A first or he goes to city B first. Suppose he goes to city A first. Then he can go to city B first and then he finally goes to his home. That is his goal state. Or if he chose B first, he would have then gone to A and then his home. That is the final state. So this representation of all the possible states of a given problem of a man going to two cities and then reach his home or any problem representation of intermediate states along with initial and final states of any problem is called the state space of that problem. Now let's see the state space of our water jet problem. So the problem can be described as a set of ordered pair of integers. So we choose ordered pair of integers x, y where x represent 4 gallon jug and y represents 3 gallon jug and now we draw the state space representation in order to draw the state space representation we first need to define the production rules now the production rule is of the form a arrow b where A determines the applicability of rule and B describes the operations to be performed. Basically, A tells the condition. If that condition is true related to that state, then it will perform the B operation. If the state doesn't fulfill this condition, then B will not be performed and will move on to the next production rule. I will show you example of the production rule of the water jug problem. So these are the production rules for the water jug problem. You don't have to mug up these rules. These are just simple uh, rules that you can write it on your own and you'll get the same rules if you uh, write it correctly. So uh, the first rule is if x is less than 4 that is if uh, the 4 gallon jug has water which is less than 4 gallon then we fill the 4 gallon jug so now x will be equal to 4 and then y will have how much water it has it will have we don't consider y here now in the second case if y that is the third gallon jug has water less than 3 gallon then we fill the 3 gallon jug the third rule is if x is greater than 0 that is x has some amount of water then we will pour some water out of the 4 gallon jug now suppose you pour d amount of water out of the jug so how much water will be left in uh, the 4 gallon jug will be x minus t similarly for the 3 gallon jug if you pour out some water say d amount then you will be left with y minus t the same is for the uh, 4 gallon jug the same rule be applied for the y gallon jug also the 
so the rules are in pairs one for four gallon and another for y uh, y uh, gallon that is three gallon now the fifth rule is if the four gallon jug has some amount of water it should be just greater than zero so we'll empty the four gallon jug on the ground now the water will be zero we'll fully empty it Similarly for Y, if it has some amount of water in it, you don't know how, because there is no measurement marking on the jug, so you don't know, so you just pour it out. So we'll pour it out and now we'll have X comma 0. So now we'll check if the 4 gallon together with 3 gallon jug has water greater than equal to 4 gallon and also Y has some amount of water that is greater than 0, then what we do is, pour water from the 3 gallon jug into the 4 gallon jug until the 4 gallon jug is full. Now, if you pour water from the 3 gallon jug to fill it up to the 4 gallon, now suppose this is the 4 gallon jug and this is the 3 gallon jug that is X and Y. So suppose initially the 4 gallon jug had water till here and say it's filtered x okay and 3 has water till here so the initial condition is y okay it's, say it's y so if both this condition is matched then what we do is pour some water from the 3 gallon jug to the 4 gallon jug until it's completely full so now what will be this amount now, now since this is filled till brim so it's 4 so x is equals to 4 and this amount will be 4 minus x so how much water you have poured into this that is 4 minus x. So now your new y will be y minus 4 minus x. So that is the new state. That is x is equals to 4 and then y is equals to y minus 4 minus x. Similarly, the next rule is for the 3 gallon jug. If together x and y have water greater, x has water greater than 0, then similarly. Similarly, we pour water from the 4 gallon jug to 3 gallon jug. So if this initially had Y and this initially had X, so it will be full filled till brim. So this part will be 3 minus Y and the water that has been poured out and the leftover water will be X minus this 3 minus Y. So the new state will be x is equal to x minus 3 minus y that is here and the final y state will be full that is equals to 3. So now let's come to the ninth rule. What we do is this is the 4 gallon jug. This is 3. Now x plus y is less than equal to 4 but y is greater than 0 so y has some amount of water and this also has some amount of water together they have less than equal to 4 gallon jug so what we do is we pour all the water from the 3 gallon jug into the 4 gallon one so we pour all water here and now what we have here is zero water left now why we pour because x plus y is less than equal to 4 so it's either less or equal to 4. So if we pour all the water into the 4 gallon jug, then this will be full and this will be empty. So now, this jug has how much water? X, which initially was X and this initially was Y. So X and now this whole water is full, so Y. So X plus Y and this will have 0. Similarly, the next rule is for the 3 gallon jug, if X plus Y has less than equal to 3 and x has some water in it so we fill all the water from x to y and then this will be 0 and this will be x plus y so these are the basic production rules of the water jug problem
which you really don't need to mug up you can write it on your own so now that we have our state space and the production rules now we can find a solution note that there can be many solution to this water jet problem i am showing you one of the solutions so there are two methods 